24.816. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here, also known as APG Janie, and today we're making that artist block thingy majiggy. So it's Trash Treasure, and this is a uh, piece of 2 by 4 that I started painting on, I'm embarrassed to say, probably four, five, six years ago. And uh, yeah. I got rekindled in it, and I had these little balsa wood pieces that I glued on, and then I gouged uh, that little thing that I was showing you on top. I gouged that out with uh, a drill doohickey, and because uh, I have plans for that, which you'll see, maybe. And uh, let's just coat this whole thing in some white gesso, and we do a couple coats of that. I'm not going to bore you with all that, and... Uh, then I ended up going over the whole thing with white acrylic paint because I envisioned this piece being black and white. Okay, we're going to go through some color changes. All right, so just, you know, bear with me and junk. See that little dog? I molded him with uh, some polymer clay uh, from a mold that I made with the uh, um, silicone. I'll, I'll add a link somewhere. Okay, look for the little eye in the upper right hand corner of the video and there will also be a link below the video along with a list of ingredients. Uh, these were some roses that were destined for the trash and actually I found them in the trash and I pulled them out. Okay, and then I'll stuck them in my pocket because, you know, don't nobody need to know I picked them out of there and they were painted with white gesso and I was going to paint them with white acrylic paint and I thought no I, I want them to be black so I painted them with black acrylic paint you know mm -hmm. and you're going to see me paint a little dog black too because yeah now I've decided they're going to be black the roses are going to be black and the dog is going to be black now mind you this whole project here took several weeks because I worked on it off and on and um, I almost wasn't going to finish it and then I was, then I wasn't and yada 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 you know, there was just something about that 2 by 4 did not want to get done so this is me polishing a, a little 1 by 1 inch um, glass slide I got, uh, I picked them up at um, Tuesday morning umpteen years ago I, I don't even know why I bought them, just because I thought they were cute. And I might would use them one day, and ta-da! I'm using one of them. This is copper tape that is typically put around glass when you're going to, uh, you know, solder it. I'm not soldering it. Isn't that a stupid word? Is it soldier or solder? It's kind of all the same thing, isn't it? Just looks the same. Little soldiers all in a row, little solder all in a row. I don't know what I'm doing, but I did it. Anyway, it's not getting soldered. Soldiered. <laughs> oh, goodness. Anyway, I have the copper tape because I uh, do go around organs when I make organs. Uh, yeah, Google that. We organ. O R G A N. Organ. Uh, yeah. This is alcohol ink deli paper and I will link to where I saw that on Jago's jog joggles <laughs> oh my gosh someone had a piece of candy too much cough no okay so I tore it up in strips and now we're going to adhere it onto this white block with um that there it's a it's a gloss uh gel medium it's very soft yeah, it's like an extra thick liquid. <laughs> oh, goodness, people. So we're just adhering, gluing, sticking all that deli wrap on the block. <laughs> I just couldn't decide what I was going to do with this stupid thing. I kind of had a vision in my head, and it just kept, you know melding, melting, turning into something else. I kid you not. I worked on this thing off and on for a couple months. Anyhoot. 
So now I've decided I'm going to paint everything copper. So I have some copper, uh, you know, acrylic paint. This is really pretty, y'all. And um, this dog's name is Lucky, and it actually started out as being Lucky. When I was first working on the block, I found these... Um, little hooky things and it spelled out lucky and I thought oh I can put them on my block for feet but they were way too big and they're you know lucky l-u-c-k-y there's five of them you know <laughs> you don't want five feet I mean come on it would have been wonky so anyway that was a little uh car charm and it had you know the little circle on top where you put your little chain through and I cut that off and then sanded it down a little bit so it wouldn't be all sticky pointy roughage and um, everything pretty much, uh, or not necessarily everything, but, you know, the car, the dog, the flowers all got, you know, two, three coats of the um, copper paint. And now we're going to stick that puppy on there. <laughs> oh, we really are sticking the puppy on there. <laughs> I had sanded his back, you know, the flat part of him down so that he would be pr pretty flat. He's pretty flat in there. And uh, again, that's the the gel medium. So, uh, and I'm just cleaning up the edges. Oh goodness, y'all don't know what trouble I had whittling this thing down to just over 15 minutes. Okay, you're welcome. So now we're gonna stick on our copper flowers. I like the number three, and I think that's the last of these. Um, flowers because you know there was a couple little bundles that I rescued so yeah we're sticking them on there and this thing had to dry for like I don't know four or five days okay so maybe I'm just using that for an excuse as to not picking it back up because I'm like I don't know where I'm going with this thing and uh, now we're sticking the car on now because the little wheels just didn't touch the um, the wood a lot I was afraid it would stick on, so I thought, hey, I'll set it on top of a screw, and I can screw the, you know, the screw, obviously, into the wood, which I did, and then get the car on there, and, you know, and it worked, so I'm just kind of working a screw down so it fits more or less, more better, and uh, now we're going to fill up that car with the gel medium, and uh, I put a little bit of ram for the wheels to kind of stick in. Oh, and I, I didn't show you, but I painted that screwed copper, too, because, I mean, you know, it might show. It needs to be copper, y'all. So there I'm just cleaning up the gel around that. Now, I have this whole story in my head about this piece, okay? Now that I finally got... Oh, and I forgot to turn the camera on when I stuck my little photo thing in there because I used a transparency. Did I mention a transparency? I stuck between the piece of glass. Probably not. And that was a little piece of transparency when I printed the transparency things off. Transparency, transparency, transparency. Some several months ago and I had a little piece of transparency left so I just put a little tiny picture in the transparency so when I printed off the transparency <laughs> <laughs> it was counted because I wasn't. Oh, my gosh. So uh, I think now I'm putting triple thick on there, which is like this super, super glossy finish thing, and it's just going to extra glue everything, make sure it's all stuck on there. And it was all stuck on there pretty good. Oh, no, that wasn't triple thick. What am I saying? Was it triple thick? Maybe it – oh, you know what? Maybe it was. Yeah, I think it was. Y'all know. Y'all was watching right so anyway these are some dymo labels because i decided i needed to uh tell everybody the name of the dog and the lady and if anyone wants to ask me the story i will probably tell you maybe <laughs> just leave it in the comments if you're curious so anyway had a hard time getting that lucky to stick on here. It wasn't very lucky. Now we're going to put on some of these fancy uh, black diamonds, y'all. Got some black diamonds. <laughs> oh, goodness. They're not real diamonds. But we're pretend they are. So we're going to glue them on the ends. I'm calling the skinny part the ends. The wide part, you know the four part <laughs> is the sides and we're just going to put their gems on there black diamonds 
Do they make black diamonds? Well, you know, they start out at black if they're cold, cold you know, and then they get squished. squished, squished. <laughs> oh, there's that lucky wooden stick. So we're sticking it back on there again. Uh, diamonds start off as cold, you know, which are black, and yeah, and then they go to clear. And they're really not as rare as they as the diamond bears people want you to think. Yeah, stop and think about that, okay? How many people you know with diamond rings, diamond ear rings, diamond necklaces, and diamond bracelets? Mm hmm. Not to mention they use diamonds on, you know, drill bits and saw blades and all that other kind of jack. I mean, come on. People, they're not that rare. They just want more money. Colored gems are much more prettier. Though they are rarer. No, they are. Google it. <laughs> so we're getting close to wrapping this block up. This oh, this piece of two by four. Been a long time coming, and I am glad it's done. I didn't show you, but in the end, I end up putting um, fun foam on the bottom. You know, because I don't have no felt, so I put fun foam on it. And it's a piece of change. I saw it. Um, on clearance somewhere while I was working on the block because you know I took my time on this thing and I thought oh that just looks so good on my block actually I didn't get it for the block I got it for something else that you'll see the video for eventually and this is just the leftover piece of chain and I'm kind of measuring out how long I want it so that's why I'm using the pokey tool kind of holding it and measuring it and uh you know when you unhook a chain you twist the little the little chain piece to open it and then when you close it you twist it back you don't prime apart because no 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 don't prime apart twist them mm -hmm. there's your jewelry lesson oh did you hear that i think i said that right jewelry 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 i don't wear much jewelry <laughs> Yeah, we really are going to be wrapping this up because, you know, it's just slightly over 15 minute video. And, uh, well, we got a big photo montage coming up, okay, at the end. Cause it's hard to see a 3D thing on a video. Uh, oh, now I'm going to glue the chain on. I'm using that same glossy gel stuff. And, uh, I can't tell y'all how much, uh, that stuff I had on my fingers. I didn't think I was ever going to get it pulled off. It was like de-skinning my fingers or something. So, yeah. Lining it up. We'll be getting to that photo montages any second. Musical, musical, musical interlude. Because it's time, it's time, it's time for musical, musical interlude. Just for you, just for me, just for we, musical interlude. So uh, I don't know what I'm going to talk about during the uh, photo montage. Here it comes, photo montage. Lucky Penny. <laughs> Do y'all get it? Do you get it? The dog's name is Lucky and the lady's name is Penny. And I have a whole story that I would tell you if you were really curious to know. So, <laughs> Lucky Penny. Copper. Get it? Get it? See, it all worked out in the end. That's why I never could just decide what, to, you know, straightforward way to do this artist block thingy. But it works out in the end. It was exactly the way it was us supposed to be, as are most things in life. Oh, goodness. Oh, this is a um, creative arts collaboration hashtag event. I almost forgot that most important part. 
hashtag CAC Trash to Treasure. Search for YouTube and you will find many, many more videos on art and good stuff like that. So thanks for watching. Happy art, y'all.